So just like the previous videos, we will tackle this example problem from this topic. But if you all need a little bit more background information, I encourage you to look at the first video from this topic, which covered more of the background knowledge needed. So let's look at solution A first. Its initial component is water, which would make it a neutral solution initially. Now we add this solute, sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is an ionic compound, which means that it is a strong electrolyte. So dissolved in solution, strong electrolytes break apart, and it's going to break apart into its ions, sodium metal ion that's hydrated, and nitrate ions, which are hydrated. Now, when I look at the ions that it breaks apart into, neither one of these ions are going to affect the hydronium ion concentration. So that means that the pH is going to stay the same. Let's look at solution B. Its initial components are water and perchloric acid. And so its initial type would be acidic. If I add potassium hydroxide, KOH is going to, when it dissolves as a strong electrolyte, it's a strong base, it's going to break apart into potassium metal ion and hydroxide ions, which means the concentration of hydroxide ions in solution is going to increase, which will decrease, decrease the concentration of hydronium ions. So the pH is going to be higher because I added base. Solution C begins with water, neutral solution, and I add nitric acid, or HNO3. This is going to increase the hydronium ion concentration, which is going to make the pH lower. Solution D, I began with water and perchloric acid, so it is going to be acidic. I add potassium perchlorate. Well, let's see what happens when potassium perchlorate dissolves as a strong electrolyte because it is a salt. It's an ionic compound. It break apart into potassium metal ion and perchlorate. When I look at these ions, these ions are not going to affect the concentration of hydronium ions in solution. So what that means is the pH is going to stay the same. 